What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've already seen my previous video, you already know that this car is pretty well set up from the previous owner and I am pretty happy with the tasteful modifications. It has the Apex wheels, the LG Motorsports coilovers, the full carbon fiber front to back lip kit. It is absolutely stunning. But one thing that I definitely don't like about the Z06 is the badges. The current badges on this car are still the factory chrome badges, which I have nothing against. But when you're going with such a blackout approach that this car already has, I think the emblems can use um, a little bit of updating. One thing is the original emblems have been covered with a carbon fiber wrap overlay that you can find on eBay or Etsy or anyone that has any kind of Cricut cutting machine and unfortunately on such tasteful modifications that the car has all around, this is one area that's just lacking. So how do we fix this? Boom, these beautiful bad boys are now going to be placed on the front and the back of the vehicle. Let's get started. Look down here at the actual badge. One thing that I've made sure that I've done is just kind of put some masking tape around where the original badge was. I did use some of the key lines to help me align and make sure that the next badge, the black one is in the same position and obviously not uh, you know, oriented any kind of crookedness or anything. So I did put a couple pieces. I am gonna use a heat gun and just kind of heat up the adhesive on this original badge. It already started peeling slowly. I do have some fish line and uh, some plastic razor blades that I'm gonna kind of start sliding in it once it heats up a little bit to kind of peel it completely off and then we'll clean up this area and we'll slap on the new ones. Let's go. Just like that, the emblem has been removed. Now, obviously these have the factory little tabs that pretty much allows someone to quickly put it in. The new versions are completely flat. They're not going to have that on there. So that's why the tape is there. So when I place this, I can place this pretty much in the same exact area as the original one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area up and get ready to apply the new emblem. Like that, the original badge has been removed and the new badges are now in place. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the back side of the car and work on doing the same exact placement. I want to clean the badge a little bit, but I'm waiting for it to kind of stick to the paint a bit better before I actually go ahead and move it. All right guys, so there you guys have it. Both front and back emblems have been replaced. Remember, Keep the masking tape around the area. That way you can kind of align it where it originally was on the car. Front one's a little bit easier because it does have those two pins. If you're off from those, then you probably have a good indication that you're off. The back one does not have pins. And since the bumper's kind of at a little bit of a curve, it is a little bit trickier to make sure that you press the new emblem on so it adheres to the paint. Um, and then give it some time before you spray any liquids or anything. That way it makes sure that it sticks. They do come with a very sticky product. So I don't foresee any issues with them falling off, but they look immaculate. I'm really happy with that small little change. I do think anyone that has like a red car, a red Z or any other Zs with different colors, those badges will definitely pop. We all love the iconic Corvette badge, but I think just adding a little bit of your own flavor to it, like mine with the American flag to the right of it, but also I've seen some variations of like the Texas flag and some other really cool options. Check them out. I'm gonna link them down in the bio. Um, I did find them on Instagram and on eBay. You could choose either option um, to kind of choose from to buy them. But don't forget to like and subscribe. A lot more content coming with this Z in a few more weeks. So just check it out, follow the page, follow my IG, and let's keep in touch. Peace.